Hello world, welcome to the 50th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In the previous video, I did a personal finance video and it happened to be the best performing video on my whole channel since I've started last July. So the intent of my channel was to be a Python programming channel, uh, robotics, things like that. But uh, I can't deny that there seems to be an appetite for personal finance video. So what I would like to do is every 10th video, I will do a personal finance video. But in today's video, we're going to use a Python library called Beautiful Soup to help me in some job searching. So in July of this of 2020, after 21 years of being in the Air Force, I'm going to retire and move back to the Louisiana area. And so I would like to find another job. And, you know, there's a joke in programming that says, why, um, you know, why spend 25 seconds doing something when you can spend hours programming a program to do it for you? And so, it's very simple to go to a website and find some open jobs, but uh, I would like to do have a program to do it for me, and that's what we're going to do. So the Python library called Beautiful Soup, what it does is it, uh, it can be used to check the HTML of a website, and you could do whatever you want. You can go to any website, and you could do what's called scraping, and that's what we're going to do today. So there is a place called the Cyber Innovation Center that is located in Louisiana and they have a careers website and they have some jobs listed here a data analyst database developer event support contractor that looks like it right now so using beautiful soup I created this little program that just tells me the job titles that we just read so what we're going to do is we're going to run this And there you go, data analyst, database developer, event support contractor. So it did it for me, and I think that's pretty cool. So let's go through the code real quick. So first you're going to import requests. Then you are going to uh, from BS4. So go to your command prompt and make sure you uh, pip install BS4 and then from BS4 we're going to import beautiful soup note the uppercase B and S then we're going to create a variable called URL and we're as a string we're going to pass the website so make sure it's the full website path to include the HTTPS so Chrome hide some of that for you just to make it look cleaner but make sure you put the full path in there and then we're going to put the uh, data using the requests that we imported up here. So I'm going to call it HTML text is request.get. We're going to pass it the URL and we want this in text format. So then we're going to do a variable called soup and it's going to be called beautiful soup. So you call beautiful soup. I want this HTML text that I did up here. And I want it to be parsed out using HTML parser. And that's how you do that there. So every website is basically just a bunch of HTML. Even if there's JavaScript in there or some different more advanced programming languages than HTML. Uh, it still formats to HTML. So let's look at just what is in the soup. Right, That's the variable we just called. And this is going to pull all the HTML for the whole site. So um, if you're not familiar with HTML, then this might be Greek to you. But so what it does is this is the HTML for the entire site. So everything on the page that we passed it right here in HTML format is in here. 
Okay. So let's comment that back out. So what I specifically want to do is I want to um, iterate through all of these H1 references, right? This is the division title, H1. And I want to look for this class, right? And this is just what the website designer called it. Jobs, top, card, job title, T24, right? Some web designer, I'm sure they contracted it out, created that. So how did I find that? So you go to any website and you click on the thing you want. So I wanted this right here, data analyst. You right click it and do inspect. All right, that's going to pull up this right here. And you're going to see that right here, it scrolls with you, which is kind of cool. But this H1 class is right here. So I just, the way you do it, the syntax is you pass the H1, right? That's the title of this class. And then the class name, which is found in the quotes. So I just copy and pasted that and put it right here. So make sure you put this class underscore, right? Class underscore equals this. And then just, I wanted just to print the text, but let's say you want to print the whole lines. So there you go, H1 class equals that data analyst, and then the ending, you know, the closing of that H1. So I just want the text. And it just gave me the text, which is in those brackets. So now I don't have to go to this website. It looks kind of silly right now because I could have just went to this website. But imagine there are 15 companies I want to research. And I can have this do it for me. Or I can save it to a text file and then say only if there's a new job posting. So it'll look at the code I pulled yesterday and then it'll pull out the code today and tell me if there is a difference. So there's a lot of functionality you can do, but I just wanted to show this quick code real quick and uh, I hope it helps somebody else. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Python programming videos or now, if you want to see more personal finance videos, please also subscribe to this. Make sure to smash that like button. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.